This is the Simpson Ferrari V12 GTR and this is a super rare one-off A40 race car with a really cool story. But to truly appreciate the significance of the V12 GTR, we must first delve into the history of the Ferrari A40. So let's get into it. So the Ferrari A40 was introduced in 1987 to commemorate Ferrari's 40th anniversary and it was the last model personally approved by Enzo Ferrari before his passing in 1988, making it a significant piece of automotive history. Now the F40 was developed as a response to the cancellation of the Group B Rally series, which had initially inspired the creation of the Ferrari 288 GTO. The GTO was a high performance car with an equally fascinating story. If you want to know more about that car, I will make a video on it soon. But back to the topic of today's video. With the end of Group B, Ferrari saw an opportunity to create something even more extraordinary and special. Designed by Pininfarina under the guidance of Chief Engineer Nicola Matarazzi, the F40 was a radical departure from its predecessor. It featured a mid-engine layout, a lightweight construction primarily using composite materials and a twin turbocharged V8 engine that produced around 478 horsepower. And with its raw power, minimalist design and impressive performance, the F40 quickly became known for its crazy performance. In fact, back when this thing was released, it was the fastest street legal car in the world and it was the first street legal car to break the 200 mile per hour barrier, which is pretty impressive. Now the Ferrari F40 was built from 1987 to 1992 with a total of 1,311 units being produced. The F40's design emphasized performance with features such as a lightweight body, large rear wing and aggressive aerodynamics. It was celebrated not only for its speed but also for its ability to deliver a visual driving experience. With minimal electronic intervention, this car was and still is to many one of the greatest supercars ever built. But as the F40 gained acclaim, it also inspired various modifications and racing versions of the car, one of which was the Simpsons Ferrari V12 GTR. And yes, you heard that right, V12 F40. This unique model was developed in the late 1990s by Simpson Motorsport, which sought to create a race-bred variant of the F40. The project began with an idea, and this idea was genius. You see they decided to take out the V8 and replace it with a 5.5 litre V12 engine found in the Ferrari 550 Maranello and put that into the F40. Now you might wonder how could they afford an F40 and then also source all of the parts necessary to do this conversion. Well they actually didn't use a working F40, instead the chassis they used was one Ferrari used for crash tests, making it cheaper to get their hands on the chassis and also purists couldn't complain too much because the car was already done for before they went and modified it. And this V12 engine was then coupled with a Hewland 6-speed sequential manual transmission, promising a thrilling driving experience that was both powerful and melodious. As for power, Simpsons never revealed the exact numbers, but the standard 550 Maranello produced 480 horsepower and this one had some mods, so estimates We'll put it at over 500 horsepower, meaning that this thing was a beast, likely to deliver performance that would leave traditional F40s in their dust. The engine, visible through the F40's transparent cover, showcases the craftsmanship that went into this vehicle. Now, I am sure to some this is wrong and stupid, it is an original, and you lose the turbo sounds, but the V12 Symphonic Raw is a worthy trade off, in my opinion. Anyways, they did a little more than just swap the engine. You see the GTR's design included custom suspension components, a single front seat and a FIA approved roll cage. Then the car's body panels were modified for better aerodynamics and the overall weight was reduced to only 1,075 kilograms, which truly enhanced its track performance. Anyways, this is a race car, so let's talk about its history in that world. Okay. So I will start this off by saying um, its racing career was a bit boring. You see the V12 GTR has participated in various European competitions and even got a notable second place finish at the Brit car event at Outlawn Park in 2006 but it really didn't compete all that much. Although even with its relatively modest racing heritage, the car's uniqueness and rarity has made it a fascinating piece of automotive history. 
and now it has been road registered, allowing its next owner to enjoy the thrill of driving this extraordinary vehicle on public roads, assuming that they can handle the sheer excitement of a V12 Ferrari that weighs just over a ton. And here is the interesting part. This car is going up for auction and it is actually expected to sell for way less than an original F40. With an estimated price tag of 500 to 600,000 pounds, the Simpson Ferrari V12 GTR offers a compelling alternative to the traditional F40, which can fetch upwards of 3 million at auction. So let me know what you guys think of this. Would you rather pay way less money for the arguably better version of the F40, or do you think that the original is worth the extra few millions? Let me know down below. If you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And if you guys did like it, you'll most probably like most of my other stuff. So just go through my channel, see if there's something else you like. I'll check you guys in the next one. Cheers, I.